A Utah lawmaker met with some Utah-based Olympians this past week to discuss the potential to lower emissions in the state. That's a big goal, all part of an effort to help protect Utah's environment in time to one day host the Winter Olympics again. Fox 13 Spencer Joseph has that. Utah has a lot to be excited for, with the possibility of once again hosting the Winter Olympics. Given that, the one topic that's first and foremost on everyone's mind is climate change. Obviously, we're all super passionate about climate change and preserving uh, the snow that we all love to play in. Jared Schumit is an Olympic skier who competed in the Beijing Olympics, and he and other Olympians joined Representative John Curtis for a hike to talk about climate change by helping to lower emissions. He says he's seen Utah's snow levels decrease in his lifetime. Yeah, just from when I was a little kid, pretty much snow would start flying in September, and it would be a good winter all the way through April. And then nowadays, uh, competing, sometimes we compete in December or January, and we barely have enough snow to pull off an event. The International Olympic Committee has set goals for lowering emissions in host cities by 50% in eight years in time for the next Winter Olympics. Along with the meeting with Olympians, Representative Curtis from Utah's 3rd Congressional District says he's working with groups on both sides of the aisle to help meet that goal and protect the environment. The Conservative Climate Caucus was founded for conservatives uh, to promote our ideas for taking care of the earth. We, we want to make sure that we have a voice that we're at the, the, the table when we're discussing these policies. We think we have some really valuable ideas to bring to the conversation, and we also want to show that we also care about this earth and our stewardship. Schumann says that even if Utah does not host the Olympics, lowering emissions is simply good for the climate and everyone. What we're trying to accomplish with reducing emissions um, and preserving our environment, it's good for the health of all those in Utah. Spencer Joseph, Fox 13 News, Utah.